I want to preface this entire video by saying I love Rainbow Six Siege. I upload it actively onto my YouTube channel. I have a lot of hours played in it with both console and PC, and I actively supported it through its launch and even up to modern day. But I also have enough love for the game and the franchise that it comes from to acknowledge that it's really not in a good place right now. And when I say Rainbow Six Siege is not in a good place right now, I don't simply mean that the season isn't good. I mean the season that is, that is supposed to be really good is unplayable for a variety of reasons. And I just feel like I need to address these things because I'm tired of having to just sit around and act like they don't exist. I try to make my channel a place of positivity. I would much rather show the good of things than the bad of things. But that doesn't mean the bad things just don't exist either. For the past week, Rainbow Six Siege has literally been unplayable. I have not been able to get into any games and start recording highlights or like how I have been wanting to do, starting to grab footage for one of my new Operator Guide series, which will be probably coming out later on. The servers have just been a complete dumpster fire, and I'm pretty sure even right now, there is still an outage going on pretty much across the entire world in terms of Siege servers. On top of the Siege server issue, there's also been an incredibly big influx of cheating because this is about the time of year where Ubisoft massively discounts the game. A lot of people would simply buy game, uh, versions of the game to create cheating accounts, and then those accounts will simply run ramp rampant until Battle Eye's next big wave comes in. The fact that we are essentially 9, 10 years into this game's lifespan and we still have to deal with this amount of cheating is absolutely abhorrent at the worst and just downright rude and disrespectful to the community at best. Now, I don't say these things because I think the developers deserve to be punished. I'm saying what I am saying because I respect the developers. I respect the security team, the balancing team, the operator design team, the map team. The developers of this game clearly have a passion, whereas the higher-ups, the publishing, the management of this game simply do not. If we they if they cared about the game nearly as much as the development team did, we would have had a lot of issues that we are currently facing with Rainbow Six Siege solved quite a while ago. And I don't want to just say randomly that oh, the problems that we're having would have been solved. I'm going to name the specific problems that I think management could have solved if they simply just put in the right amount of resources for it. And speaking of the right resources for it, the best place to start is probably the security team. I don't know if it's that there's simply nobody on Rainbow Six Siege's security team, or they don't have enough resources, or if the anti-cheat is just taking too long to learn, but the fact that Battle Eye often really struggles to catch cheaters, and then they do ban some cheaters, which I want to say that, that I'm thankful for that. I'm glad that it does, like, ban some cheaters. But the fact that there are still a surplus of cheating that I have not experienced, but my friends have experienced, um, other YouTubers that I've collaborated with and even watch have also had such a surplus of, uh, of cheating issues it's it's downright ridiculous the security team probably does not even get paid what they're like worth because they are incredibly valuable to a live service game especially one that is multiplayer like this and they just and just nothing happens another thing that i genuinely believe that management could solve quite a bit ago is in all honesty the server issues if more resources were poured into ensuring that there are, is shit more like better servers a bigger server management team something like that Th this game wouldn't be having so many outages and connectivity issues like it's having currently it's i i've been trying to just play a game of standard for the past week i'm able to at most if i'm lucky wait for 10 minutes in a queue, get one game with standard, and then I just simply can't play Siege anymore. 
I want to play your game, Ubisoft, and I can't. And it's genuinely upsetting me, because I respect the game and its development team, but it seems like the publisher just does not have the same love that anybody else does for this game. I, and I know already this has just been five minutes of just me getting really upset about the fact that Rainbow Six Siege is being treated this way, but the honesty is we all should be upset that Rainbow Six Siege is getting treated this way. This a game that's been going on nine, ten years strong. It's got some ups and downs, but for the most part, it's lived through almost all of it. Through its highs and lows, through its Operation Health, to Chimeras, to even just great seasons like we're having now. And we, it's really hard to enjoy it when there's just so many other issues, aside from content, that are just plaguing this game. I love Rainbow Six Siege. I want it to do well. I need it to do well, in all honesty, because without it, I don't know what else I would be playing right now. And yes, as a variety creator, I do have a lot of other games. In fact, one of them right now, on the day of me recording this uh, commentary, Valorant, is literally released a new gun, and I'm probably going to be streaming it today. Live on Twitch. If you want to check that out, it's probably going to be in the description, but I need the problem is that Siege isn't getting the love that it really, really needs and really, really deserves. I really wish that once the teams like the, had the resources like Riot Games or Epic Games do, where they could just put, invest so much money and ensure that their game is up and that it's healthy and that people aren't cheating and things like that. I want this for Siege so bad because I love this game. There's no other experience like Rainbow Six Siege. And a lot of people will say that it's the shooting, and that it's the teamwork, and that it's the ga gadget play. But it's, in reality, it's all of these things. And the fact that a majority of the time, you can just hop right into a queue and find a game almost instantly. And, and all these things just make Rainbow Six Siege what it is. I want this game to do better. I'm just tired of acting like nothing is going on. I want to thank all of you for just listening to me go on this big, long, super tangent. But I didn't really want to make the video. However, I felt like I needed to. And if you did sit through all of this, thank you so much. In fact, say pineapple pizza in the comments or something if you've made it this far. Because I'm genuinely curious to see uh, how if, if people do want to listen to me ramble and things like that. We are going to have some normal uploads coming in the next few weeks. And like I said, I do still have that Siege Operator Guide that I want to work on. Um, you can I don't know when you can expect that, but it should be coming hopefully within the next month. If not, I'm very sorry about that. And if you do want me to do more Operator Guides, let me know what Operator you want me to do in the Anyways, I've been Cardinal Sin. I talk too much. Have a good one.